placards and lighted information signs. Smoking, including the use of e-cigarettes, vaping, or chewing tobacco is not allowed on any Delta flight. Federal law prohibits tampering with disabling or destroying restroom smoke detectors or drinks, drinking personal alcohol on board this aircraft. This aircraft has two forward doors, one on each side and four overwing exits. All exits are clearly marked with exit signs and instructions for operation, and an emergency lights will illuminate the aisle to guide you to an exit. Please use the sign to locate the exits nearest you. Using these exit signs, and keep in mind it may be behind you. In the event of an evacuation, please be reminded to leave all carry-on items behind. We are wearing our oxygen mask during the, uh, excuse me, our face mask during the oxygen mask demonstration for safety reasons. If you are wearing a mask, please be sure to remove that mask before placing the oxygen mask on in the event of a decompression. It's unlikely, but if cabin pressure changes, the panel above your seat will open or fill in the oxygen mask. If this happens, reach up and grab that mask and pull it towards you until the tube is fully extended. Remove your own face mask or covering. Place that mask over your nose and mouth. Slip the elastic strap over your head and adjust the mask if necessary. Breathe normally and note that oxygen is flowing even if that bag doesn't inflate. Secure your own mask before helping others. Oxygen masks are also located in the overhead panels in the lavatory. To use, pull the yellow strap towards you, remove it from the clip, and place the mask over your nose and mouth. Your seat cushions can be used as a flotation device. To use, pull over to remove the bottom cushion. When you exit the aircraft, hold the cushion to your chest with the straps facing away. Put your arms to the straps and hold your wrist. Infant life vests are located in a rear overhead bin identified with the placard. Instructions on how to use the infant life vests are in the safety information part of the seat pocket in front of you. Flight attendants will distribute infant life vests if necessary. Before we take off, please be sure that your seat backs are upright. Tray tables and carry-on items are stowed away. Your aisle on rest as well as your head rest is lowered. And your seat backs are in their upright and resting positions. Then take a moment to review that safety information card found in the seat pocket in front of you. As we complete our final safety checks, let us know if you have any questions at all. We'll do everything we can to assure you have a safe and relaxing flight. Thank you for your attention. taxiing along. It's always good to be on one of these. It may feel a little juddery at first though, but you'll be alright. It's natural. I'll be adjusting the cabin lighting. If you do need extra light, there is a panel above your seat.
crossing all over the roads and all. The tarmac is always it's tight. Bumper to bumper. Always everything. Oh, and there's the FedEx guys. FedEx explains. I didn't mention my friend that who's getting married. She works for FedEx and all. But even so, oh, I remember there used to be UPS as well, but I guess FedEx took over. There's the spirit hanger too. I know that type of airliner over there, but I don't recognize the color. But I've seen them before. And there's the de-icers. Oh, it's United, that's what it was. Yeah, United. It's always a lot of fun when you fly, mostly when you're on the plane like this and all on the ground and it's moving, and then waiting until you get up in the air. But hey, what can you do? and everything that we drove along.
we go. A, a moment everyone loves, the takeoff. Definitely getting closer to the ground now. The flight actually didn't feel like like that long at all. Even though we're on a smaller plane, but at least it's not a regional plane. Because those planes are tight when you, when you fit inside. I'm like one of those guys, it was like those newsreel guys from World War II. Oh, there's some turbulence. Don't worry, that's natural. Yeah, this always happens. Turbulence and pressure are when descending. But even so, it's just part of the approach. This is getting to be really interesting. Or just normal. This is just, well, looking at everything out there, I can't even tell if Memphis is meant for farming or if it's construction, or whatever it is. It's all pretty nice down there. Then once we're driving on the road, we'll get to see a whole lot more. Line up, you, you gotta make sure the plane is direct. All right. 
And the final approach has begun. We're here. I can see the airport. Well, here we go. The one thing people also love besides the takeoff. Hey, guys, look at all the FedExes all. No wonder Kayla and Cody had quite a good one. Look at And we've arrived in Memphis. So this is what, what Cody told me about. And there's a couple of DC 10s. How about that? And we've arrived in Memphis. Well, how about that? Look at that. Here we go. UPS is here too. We're going, going, and here we come. The touchdown. That's everything. And we have now arrived in Memphis. That was a good flight.
after all that and all. Felt kind of pretty short for the flight. Now going into the gate. That was pretty good. Well, we've now docked. I'll get back with you all soon, but I hope you enjoyed watching the flight. Even though it wasn't entirely done, but okay.